Right, so I am here and this is my bed of uh, root stocks for apples. And I'm going to show you how you can make new root stocks from existing root stocks. Now, I'm not going to graft at the moment, it's too early. However, I'm preparing these for grafting. Now, to graft a, a, a fruit tree, Daisy, go away. To graft a fruit tree, you need a, sh a, sh a straight stem. So this one's branching off and I'm going to take that off, but it's not wasted. So I'm just going to clean it up a wee bit. So you can see I've got about a two foot length there, which will give me two new root stalks. So I'm cutting this right under a bud because that's where all the auctions are. And I'm not touching it with my hands. Right, the cup bit, I mean. So, that's me got two pieces of root stock, which I'm going to plant. So this just makes me a nice straight hole. One in there. And I put it in half its depth. And then I make another hole about six inches away. And remember and put it in the right way up and make sure they're firm in about halfway down and those in a year or possibly two but they're quite thick but in a year they will turn into these so what I'm going to do just now is just remove any growths at the side so that these are nice and straight for grafting and of course, I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to grow these into new rootstocks. This is MM106. So I'm just holding them by the bud end. And I'll just go around and I'll do that with them all. And by this time next year, these, when they're planted, all being well, will produce their own roots. And then the following year, they'll be big enough for you to graft and you can do this with apple root stalks, with cherry root stalks, with plum root stalks, any fruit wood, wood root stalks. Okay? Thanks for watching.